I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about my journey to sustainable health and meaningful success. And today I have my best friend, Sal with me. She has been here in Wisconsin for Thanksgiving break and we've just been chilling. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you want to say something about yourself. <laughs> um, my name is Itzel. I'm her homie. We met in college, you know. Um, I don't yeah. Know. yeah, what's your major? I'm a psychology major with a minor in art. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to do big things out here. I graduate in May. Yes. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now, you know? Cool, cool. So, today we're just like painting our nails yes. and chilling because that's what we do. Yes. Um, yep. <laughs> Yeah, painting our nails. That's just what's going to happen today. And? And we're going to talk a little bit about stress. Yes. We're going to talk Coping about Coping mechanisms. Because life gets intense. So intense. Yeah. Um, Itzel, what do you have coming up for you in the next couple of weeks? Oh, God. Talk I can't about. even talk about it. Um, <laughs> so as I said, I'm in school. I'm mm -hmm. a senior right now. So it's finals week. It's finals week in a week. So, you know, everything just added up. Presentations. I have multiple papers due. So many. Um, late nights, you know. Yeah, it kind of, it's like, it's a lot. Because, yeah. yes, she's in, she's on Thanksgiving break. So she's chilling up here with me. Yeah. But you still have to do homework, like, <laughs> every night. Like, if I go to bed, I'm like, uh, peace out. I'm like, no. <laughs> I want all the bags in the world, <laughs> to be honest. Yes. Yeah. So she's she's been working at night, and then this morning I woke up, and she was studying still. Such a... <laughs> she's just such a hard worker. Ugh. I have goals, you guys. When you guys yes. want to reach your goals... You do what you gotta do. Yes. yes. Period. <laughs> so, <For real>. um, <laughs> yeah, so obviously I talk about my journey to sustainable health, um, mm -hmm. which, you know, in different seasons of our lives that might look a lot different. Right. And, what like, about you right now? What's your main stressor? My main stressor is my own dang thoughts. Okay, that gets to you. <laughs> it oh, yes. Man. So like when you're going through a hard, just sometimes it's, it doesn't even have to be outside things. Like I'm just, I'm just chilling. Internal. But Whoa. also, yes, I just, sometimes it's just making decisions for your life or dealing with past pain or anything so you guys know I'm in therapy I'm just crocheting and painting and putting on makeup if you follow me on Instagram um, we'll put it in the description and we'll also put Itzel's Instagram in the oh, description um, <laughs> I'm cute or whatever yes <laughs> um, but yeah if you follow me on Instagram you know that I I've been like Trying to put more effort into my makeup. Eh, um, Lawless. Yeah. Lawless. But also just kind of making it through every day. Um, processing things. And that's just been, that's been it. But yeah. I have a lot of friends who are actually still like in college or they're doing their master's programs or whatever. But um, what's what's something that you're like trying to intentionally do to stay sane. Oh. Yeah, so I like to listen to music, I like to paint and draw, and then I like to work out. Yeah, those are my three main stuff. And journal. And pray. Pray is actually the number one. I should have said that first, to be honest. I'm getting back into it, you guys. Prayer so um, has been so helpful to me and my life. When nothing else, I just pray. I should do it more at all times. I should pray at all times, but you know, we're all learning and growing. Okay. Yes. 
from growing in that area. Amen. It's just sometimes you have your support system, but sometimes you can't, they can't help you through everything. So it's important to also um, know what helps you for you. Um, so yeah, I like to, I began to really do my nails every week. That's like some form of therapy and self-care. So it's like killing two birds at one time. <laughs> I like that you pointed out that, like, sometimes you can't just, like, go and hang out with friends or you can't just, like, call somebody. Yeah. Like, sometimes it is just kind of a a solitary process to yeah. work things through. Yeah. But, um, yeah, because when I was in college, we'll have to do a separate video on our college experiences because it's been... A trip. A journey. <laughs> um, but when I was Ooh. in college, I was super stressed and I didn't know how to handle it. So I ended up just kind of um, like clamming up or staying to myself. And that's when like I started eating a lot and I gained like 100 pounds my sophomore year. And um, I didn't never really left my apartment because I didn't really know like how to just stay sane with a lot of people, especially because I'm like an introvert, pretty much. So it's a good, yeah, I'm like but, mixed, but yeah. um, it's a good thing to note that sometimes you gotta find your own way, your own path. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like sad, but that's really, it's good for your mental health, mental care, because that sounds like in a negative, like, yeah, you gotta take care of yourself. Not everyone's gonna be there for you. But don't look at it that way. It's more of like, um, you're growing. You need to be, you know, it's like a, a, become stronger at the end of the day. Amen. Yeah. Soul searching. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> Your life but is actually, gonna work out. Of course. Oh my gosh. Yes. We both have gone through, like, our ups and downs, and we're still smiling through it, y'all. And... <laughs> Sorry. What? Like, my smile is, like, half cringe. Ah! <laughs> oh, right. We all battle scarred. <laughs> Just wounded. Half, it's a fake wounded smile. Wounded over here. <laughs> it's all a lie. We're miserable. Oh, uh, yeah. No. No, no. no, it's so good. It's, yeah. it's all so good. Anyway. What do you think is like the sweetest part about getting through finals week? Talk to us about what you're looking forward to. Uh, for winter break, I look forward to seeing my family. I'm from California and I go to school in Chicago, which is, yes. I love. But you know, you miss, you get homesick here and there, you know, I'm a family person, so it gets a little rough sometimes, but that's why I got my second home and my second family people that, you know, family's not always blood, but, um, I don't know, I look forward to seeing all my grades where I want them to be. Um, yes, ma'am. I'm manifesting that as well. <laughs> Speak it. Into existence. Um... Yeah, I look forward to that. And then I also look forward to my last semester because that will, like when you see the end of the road, since for me it's really, really close, I'm like, it's worth it. Oh, so these late nights that I'm doing, these extra work hours to not worry about tuition, not being paid, like, I don't know, stuff like that, um, it'll all pay off at the end. Yes. Yeah. It will. It will. Tell us, share with us, Share with us your passion. What is it that makes you... Because, like, school is horrific at times. But <laughs> what <laughs> what makes it worth it for you? Like, what are you... What is that, like, internal thing Every that day. drives you? Ooh, good question. Good question. Yeah, so for me, a big part that motivates me daily i wake up like okay this is it it's my family and my goals in life so i grew up in um 
with a single parent in a single parent household. My mom always installed in us that if you work hard for something, you'll get it. Like success comes with discipline and hard work. And so um, that's my motivation to get my family out of where I currently live. One, two, um, I would be the first college graduate in my family, which I will be very proud about. And then um, I also want to do my like own business, which is like a motivation for me daily because I want to help communities and families because a lot of the times, like being in a poor, in like in a low income mentality, like keeps you in a less fortunate situation like it's all in the mental like if you believe in yourself um if you are healthy mentally and physically you will like want more for yourself and so that's going to be a huge part of what i do when um once i graduate so that's my motivation i love it yeah i love it what about yes. you what drives you wake up in the morning like Thank you. I think, honestly, what gives me the most joy and fulfillment to just keep going and keep pushing is the fact that I'm not alone. And I think mm -hmm. that when I'm sharing my story or when I'm overcoming struggles that I'm going through, I know that eventually I'll be able to help somebody else through that. Yeah. Um, and like it gives me the greatest joy when people comment or message me saying that like they really could resonate with what I was saying and you know I think that that's the biggest thing I mean for me meaningful success is living every day in love joy and peace so if I can share that with people that they don't feel as lonely or as depressed or anxious because they know that things are going to work out and things are going to get better because maybe they've seen that I got through some stuff that they were going through. Um, like that's, that's totally worth it for me. So that's my motivation. Plus it sucks being 343 pounds now, you know, it's just, it's not comfortable. So I have my own like internal things that I want to make better for my own life but I think ultimately like I make these videos because it helps me process through stuff and it also I know it's helping other people so that makes me happy but anyway yes so sometimes we can de-stress with some self-care some self-love and <laughs> yes pampering yeah. um, but also, I think that when you have that internal drive that you're going to make it through it, um, I think that the stress is just another thing that you're going to be able to claim victory over in the end. Yeah. And it'll be all good, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's also important to breathe when you're feeling really, like, overwhelmed. Like, <laughs> those in, like... Didn't take that long, but it helps you, you know? <laughs> when yes. I'm very anxious, because I sometimes deal with anxiety, I have to breathe like that, which is kind of like a lot maybe for other people, but it, go to the bathroom <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> if, it's, if you're having like a moment where you need some time by yourself, like take it. It's not good. It's going to take longer if you don't deal with it. Um, and then you can't be as productive as you, you're supposed to be. You want to be. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. That's an important thing. Yeah. You know, just to take some time to rest. Sleep is rejuvenating. Yes. Um, <laughs> so if you can't get a lot of it, at least make sure that it's quality sleep. Like, and, you know, eat yeah. regularly. Um... <laughs> And nutritiously <laughs> ideally and right. drink a lot of water <laughs> yeah, stay hydrated you know yeah. stay prayed up yes um, yes get that Holy Spirit flow you know <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't know just you know basic 
basic self-care sometimes is all you need to make sure that you're just in check. Yeah. Vitamin C, mm -hmm. you know, don't get sick now. And um, vitamin D, if you're, if you're in Chicago or Wisconsin where we are and the sun is never out, <laughs> you got to supplement, okay? Yes. <laughs> That's all we're saying. Right. <laughs> yeah. Your vitamins. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot. We know we, we're going through something similar to what you're going through. I think I just ruined my nail. No, I didn't. Right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we all we all out here making it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Other people's opinions don't matter, so don't even stress about it. Oh, right. Like... Yeah. Especially even just going through the holiday season, like we're approaching Christmas season and all of that. And honestly, where's your boyfriend? Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to hear that question. Okay. Oh my, <laughs> um, oh my gosh. And if you're older, um, do you have a four hundred one k yet? <laughs> like, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I'm only 12. <laughs> I don't know. It's it, it can be stressful. Holidays can be stressful. But just, yeah. I would say attack it with laughter. Because family sometimes be doing the most. That is actually, that's something that my mom said recently. She's like, if you learn anything from me, <laughs> just know not to take yourself too seriously. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I feel that yeah. so you know it's it's all just gonna be so fine if you learn anything from us which we're just we're not this isn't like a how-to video this is just us no. struggling through it and we're just trying to give you some encouragement yes. as fellow wounded warriors but um <laughs> strong we're so strong you can yes. be wounded but strong mm. yes healing yes the process <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all good it's all good but yeah just don't take yourself too seriously uh -huh. this is like a season in whatever you're going through and eventually it'll all work out and um you know we'll all look back on these times and laugh and uh <laughs> and it'll be motivation if you're really down right now it's okay yeah it'll get better Take it from me. Take it from us. Yeah. Uh-uh. Breakups, y'all. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna strive. You're gonna grow. Um, if it's family problems, take it a day at a time. You can't change people. You can just change how you react to people. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. We love you. And um, we wish you the best of everything in in your whole life. And uh, we're here for you. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. so we can do more more celebrating. <laughs> um, yeah, all good times, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>